Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the Tech Stream. In this video, I am going to show you another Android 12 ROM which goes by the name of Dog Pest and we'll see if it's stable enough to be used as a daily driver or not on OnePlus 8T and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. As you can see, I have installed Dog Pest which is an Android 12 based custom ROM on my OnePlus 8T. If we go into the about section, you can see that the Android version is 12 and the Android security patch is 5th Feb 2022. I am not going to show you how to install this ROM in this video because I have already made two videos on how to install Android 12 ROM on OnePlus 8T and OnePlus 9R. So please check those videos out for the installation guide. The link will be in the description below. First of all, the ROM is super stable, fast and responsive. I have been using this ROM for the last one week and I have not faced any issues and problems as such. All the basic functionality works intended as it should. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, Volti, calling and everything just works flawlessly. The fingerprint unlock and face unlock work fine as intended. You also get app locker with this ROM and you can use both face and fingerprint to unlock an application. A very neat feature I must say. And since this is an Android 12 ROM, it supports all the amazing features from Android 12 which includes material U theming, newer UI and animation, QS and notification panel, one-handed mode, privacy dashboard and all the pixel specific features. Each of the features just work without any problems or issues. The safety net also passes on the ROM out of the box and all the payment and banking apps work just fine. The widevine security level is L1 so that means you'll be able to stream HD content on Netflix and other streaming sites. Talking about the camera, this ROM comes with Oxygen OS camera fully working. All the modes work fine without any hiccups. However, for the ultra wide lens to work properly, you need to go to the camera settings and disable ultra wide lens correction. After that, the ultra wide mode will also function properly. You also get fully function Oxygen OS gallery app also with this ROM. Moving on, if we get into BGMI you can see that there is no option for 90 fps even though the screen refresh rate has been set to 120 I have not faced this problem on another ROM. I don't know why this ROM doesn't have 90 FPS support in BGMI. And honestly, this is the only problem that I faced on this ROM. Apart from this, every feature and every app worked fine. Talking about the battery, battery backup is also good and there is no considerate drain as such. On average, I am getting 6 to 7 hours of screen on time without heavy gaming. Now let's talk about the customizations that are available on this ROM. If you go into settings, you can see Dirt Space section which has all the customizations. First up, under the status bar we have battery settings. Inside the battery settings, you get options to customize the battery styles and battery bar. Next, we have options to customize the carrier level position and text. Moving on, clock and date settings. Here you get the options to change the clock and date positions and their styles. Then we have status bar icons where you can toggle which icons to show on status bar. You also get the option to hide or show status bar icons. Under miscellaneous, we have the option to enable derp logo, change the type of 4G and Volti icons, toggle combined signal icons, show and hide the mic, camera and location privacy indicators and the brightness control gestures. Moving on to the quick settings panel, first up we get notifications. In notifications, we get the ambient edge lighting options where you can customize various parts of we also have the options to customize heads up notification and at last we have options to play with the flashlight and in call vibration options moving on to QS options we have smart pull down and quick pull down gestures then we have quick settings clock picker option where it will show a clock in the quick settings this feature is honestly very new and unique moving on there are options to show and customize the footer text on quick settings panel next up we have the brightness slider options followed by artwork media background and at last you have the options to change the animations of quick settings. Moving on to lock screen, first up we have lock screen shortcuts where you can change the lock screen bottom shortcuts. Under the lock screen UI, you get some fingerprint and up for the options with pin off animation, a small clock option and the media art customizations. And finally, we get various options to customize the always on display or ambient display. Moving on to the system, first up you get customization. Inside customization, you get monet engine where you can use the 
डार्क थीम एंड यूज अस्टम कलर फॉर एक्सेंट कलर नेक्स्ट यू कैन सेलेक्ट फ्रॉम अथरा ऑफ सिस्टम फॉन्ट्स यू ऑल्सो गेट ऑप्शन टू चेंज द स्टाइल्स ऑफ वाई फाई आई कैन सिग्नल आई कैन एंड आई कैन पैक्स फॉर द स्टेटस पार एंड यू गेट फोर्टीन ऑप्शन टू चूज फ्रॉम एंड एट द बॉटम यू गेट टू चेंज द एफ ओ टी आई कैन एंड इट एंड इट्स एनिमेशन इफेक्ट एंड दिस इज ऑनेस्टली वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट फीचर्स ऑन एनी रॉम नेक्स्ट अप वी हैव ऑप्शन टू अनेबल म्यूजिक विजुअलाइजर एंड चेंज वेरियस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ इट यू कैन अनेबल म्यूजिक विजुअलाइजर ऑन लॉक स्क्रीन एवर एंड इवन ऑन क्विक सेटिंग्स पैनल जस्ट हैव अ लुक एट हाउ इट लुक्स ऑन क्विक सेटिंग्स पैनल मूविंग ऑन यू हैव नेविगेशन बार सेटिंग इन साइड द जनरल सेटिंग यू गेट द ऑप्शन टू अनेबल अनलिमिटेड गूगल फोटो स्टोरेज एंड इट वर्क फ्लॉलेसली I mean you also get unlimited Google photo storage at original quality in this ROM wow and lastly we have options like charging animation and burn in protection wait that's not all inside battery we also have the options to block sensor for some specific apps which can again save you some battery inside display you also get the minimum and maximum refresh rate and we also have some one plus settings where we have options like alert slider setting ambient display gestures color calibration dc dimming auto high brightness mode fps overlay game mode system vibrator strength this ROM is just loaded with options and customization to choose from i mean it will take you hours just to go through each and every feature that this rom provides and each of these features honestly works so perfectly so the question is should you install this rom or not well the rom is very very good and i mean of all the android 12 roms that i've tried this one is very responsive snappy and has a lot of customizations to provide you can have a taste of android 12 with a stable experience with this one and there is a lot of development going on so you will receive a lot of new features and updates very frequently a big thanks to the developer for all the hard work the only problem for now is the lack of 90 fps and bgmi apart from that this rom is very solid i recommend everyone to give this rom a try that's all for this video and i make a lot of rom reviews and i'll be trying another android 12 roms such as nameless or proton subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos thank you for watching